The law of partial pressures refers to mixtures of gases. So, so far when we've been talking about the combined gas law and the ideal gas law, we've been referring to gases that are just one gas, just one gas in a balloon, just one gas in a tank. But if we have more than one gas in a tank and we want to calculate the pressure, we have to incorporate the law of partial pressures, which says the total pressure of a solution of gases is equal to the partial pressure of gas 1 plus the partial pressure of gas 2 plus the partial pressure of gas 3 and on and on and on depending on how many gases are in the mixture. So for example, in this tank on the left we have three gases. We have argon, hydrogen, and helium. Let's say the partial pressure of argon is 2 atm. The partial pressure of hydrogen is 3 atm and the partial pressure of helium is 4 atm. So I just made these numbers up. Okay? And we want to figure out what is the total pressure of the whole tank. Well, all we got to do is we just add up the sum of the partial pressures. So it would be the partial pressure of argon plus the partial pressure of H2 plus the partial pressure of helium which would be 2 plus 3 plus 4 which would give us 9 atm. So big idea, total pressure of a mixture of gases is equal to the sum, meaning we add all of the partial pressures together. So here are two example problems that you could see that you would have to be able to solve. Number one, a tank filled with two gases has a total pressure of 8 atm. If gas A has a partial pressure of 3 atm, what is the partial pressure of gas B? Well, let's see our givens. Our givens total pressure is 8 atm, so I'm going to label that as PT. Gas A has a partial pressure of 3 atm, so I'm going to label that as P sub A. What is the partial pressure of gas B? So if we write an equation, we know the total pressure is equal to the sum of the partial pressures. Well, we only have two gases here. We have A and we got B, so we add them up. Now let's plug in our numbers. Our total is 8. Partial pressure of A is 3. We don't know B. And then this is simple solving. Subtract 3 from both sides. You get partial pressure of B equals 5 atm. Final answer. Check yourself. Add up the partial pressures. Do they equal the total? Well, 5 plus 3 equals 8. That checks. Number 2. Different type of problem. It says three gases are combined into a single balloon. Each gas has an individual partial pressure of 4 ATM. What is the total pressure of the mixture in the balloon? Okay. Well, we know that the total pressure is going to equal to the sum of the partial pressures. Well, how many gases do we have in the mixture? We have three. So we have the pressure, partial pressure of gas one plus the partial pressure of gas two plus the partial pressure of gas three. So the total is going to equal to the sum of all these. Well, each one has a partial pressure of four. So four plus 4 plus 4 equals 12 atm. Final answer. On this slide there are two problems. I want you to try these by yourself, showing your work on your handout. Don't forget your units. So plus pause right after I finish speaking. When you're done with those two problems, hit play. I'll go over them so you can check your work to see how you did. Alrighty, for number three, you have a mixture of three gases. The total pressure is 1 atm, PT. Then you have the partial pressures of N2 and O2 are 0.4. What is the partial pressure of AR? So what we have here is PT, which equals 1. 1 equals 0 0.4 plus 0 0.4. Plus PAR. 1 equals 0 0.8 plus PAR. So PAR minus 0.8 from both sides equals 0 0.2 atm. Number four, two gases have a total pressure of 8. If one of the gases has a partial pressure that is three times larger than the other, what is the partial pressure of each gas? Well, this is saying that 8, our total, equals P1 plus P2. So there's some options here. These have to add up to 8. So
So 1 plus 7 equals 8, 2 plus 6, 3 plus 5, and 4 plus 4. Okay? One of these has to have the partial pressure three times larger than the other one. The only one that has that true is 2 plus 6. So each of these add up to 8. So the partial pressure of gas 1 is 2 atm. And for gas 2 is 6 atm. It doesn't matter which one we call gas 1 or 2. But you know the two partial pressures for those gases. So go ahead, log into your iPod or your Chromebook and answer the exit ticket questions related.